you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to be going over the market crash. So, I haven't done a market talk in quite a few days, guys. But, as you guys do know, Most Feared has come out. And with Most Feared, Legend Saturday, House Rules, Solo Challenges, New Objectives, the free training the market has taken a pretty big hit not gonna lie and if you guys know what i'm talking about when it comes to the free training uh pretty much ea had to do make rights for the training mistake they made and people got hundreds of thousands of free training some people who never spent any got some for free people who only spent like twenty thousand got like a hundred thousand like i even got like fourteen thousand i did not lose fourteen thousand i had an extra twelve thousand like remaining so honestly i think a lot of people made out of this pretty well so with that being said a lot of people had a lot of extra stuff a lot of extra coins a lot more spending and which will you think would bring the market up a little bit but a lot of people use the training to pull packs so it ended up actually in flood flooding the market now if they had given away coins the market should have went up because people have been buying a lot but people use that training to buy like the uh the most feared bat pack stuff that you can use bats on training on they kind of converted those so it kind of it, it turned out that the market would actually go down and quite honestly this is the first year of madden history for me that i've seen promo cards this cheap right off the bat like the like this set over here this set every year is like the golden apple of every promo there's always the master set and this set usually contains let's say the three players that go into it they have a equals the players that go into it and b is the player you get from it b players such as ray lewis this guy usually goes for like 800 to a million coins standard for at least at least a few weeks and these cards are here to go for like 450 350 each these cards individually right now go for approximately 250 and i've seen them for even cheaper than that it's crazy how cheap this set is and ray lewis only sells for like 400k it's crazy i've never seen them so cheap so fast at least but guys before we get into this video don't forget this is the last day of our day-long giveaways and i'll be giving away everything tomorrow so st stay tuned for tomorrow's videos for that guys so pretty much all you gotta do is comment down below 50k and like the video if any videos get 500 likes today or they hit any of the, the other videos i will be giving away 50k so just like up the video comment down below 50k for when i pull the comments and i'll end it ends today so you guys know the winners tomorrow and if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button boys turn on that noti bell we're at about 10.3k thank you guys so much for all the crazy support we keep let's keep grinding to 11k but let's get into this video so let's head over to the auction block i'm not going to stay too long on the 80 to 81s because they're kind of irrelevant at this point just quite a little bit so i'm just going to go over a little bit of uh a little small amount of it but i'm not going to go too in depth on it because i don't feel a point so obviously it's hard to value the 80s anymore because with all the influx of low pretty much the 80s get flooded by promo cards if you go to most fear you can probably find these for like 7k 6k and cheaper so the 81s are clear that's just a good signifier that like the 82s and everything beyond that are going to be really really cheap compared to what they were the last time we did this so the 82s are at 17k i don't feel like that's right um unless there's some set for them does not feel right at all let's check it out so apparently the 82s and the 83s are crazy expensive for some reason but that there's really no reason for that Let's see what the 83s are looking like. 83s, 83s, 20k. Okay, so I feel like they still should be cheaper than this. A little expensive for the 83s. Let's see what the 84s are looking like. 84s are 25k. And you can probably filter them out for even cheaper than that. Let's see if we go by veterans or something. 23k, yeah. So the 83s, I mean 84s, pretty cheap. Again, by the way, guys, training is at an all-time low right now. Like, I'll, I'll show you guys as we get up there. Let's see what the 85s. 85s are about 27k. You can probably get those for like 25 85s for training used to be above 40k so that just tells you a lot right there 86 87s we got let's see let's see 51k and again probably cheaper let's see what the 87s are looking like let's actually go to veterans it's an easy way to filter them out 48k for the 86s and the 87s look like they're around 61k so wow but again these aren't even where you want to be sitting when it comes to training and really getting value as you get up into the upper tiers of cards, there are some crazy cheap things that like, because on the lower cards, let's say a 15% drop in price for them might only be literally like 10K down, which is like a lot. A 15% price drop for a 300K player is quite a lot of coins. You'll notice the difference as we get up. 88s or 68K, guys, just think about that. We were buying 88s as a training value literally a few weeks ago for like 105K. 
it's almost cut in half. Not exactly, but you guys got you guys get the point I'm trying to make. That's just that's unreal. Like those are still 90, but at this point, but they go for bats. So remember, if you guys know anything from other promos, what you guys could potentially do is stock up on a few 88s towards the end of the promo. And then when everything converts back to training, you'll have the cheapest training values in the game by far. This is what we did with the Christmas promo. I stocked up on like 20 Ed Reeds last year. That's how I made 10 million coins. I had 10 Ed Reeds and they were all going for like 350. And I waited until the he converted to training. And when he converted to training, he went back up to like 550K to match all the other guys at his value. Because think about it. If 88 sell for the cheapest training value, just about a 90K, these cards will crash it. So pretty much once they just convert, everyone's going to buy all these cards out and they'll be selling for 90. So reduction and all, you make like a quick 20K, depending on what price you get them for. So you buy enough of them, it's a great value. That's good you got the 89s. It's gonna be really hard to filter anything out at this point. 89s look like they're below 110. Yeah. But not where I'm not where my concern is either. It's more so in this range and the next range, the 90 to 91s. Let's filter by legends to start. If you guys look at this real quick. This isn't even the cheapest I've seen them. To be quite honest with you, this is kind of like more expensive than I've seen them. But again, yesterday was Legend Saturday. Today's Sunday. It's going to be a bit of a slower market day. But you guys will understand the point. Yesterday, I saw Steve Young for 140. And trust, if you wait, if you guys wait for Legend Saturdays with the way the market is, you're going to get some crazy good prices. I picked up Anthony Munoz yesterday for cheap. I picked up Brian Dawkins for cheap. Look at this. Like Guys like Willie Brown going for 170. I saw him for 145 yesterday. He was going for literally like... Well, like, was it three? At one point, he was going for 315, then he was going for like 245. He's come down more than half his value in just a month or so. It's crazy. That's why I always tell you guys don't always hold things. Don't always hold on to cards because you will get screwed in the end. Guys who hold on to Brian Dawkins when he was 500K, now you can get him for like 220. Lawrence Taylor's pretty cheap. His, his value will never completely crash just because he's Lawrence Taylor. And you're going to want them all year for the most part. They also did drop John Henderson and Christian McCoy yesterday. I do want them, but guys, again, don't go ball out for them. Just wait. Save your coins, wait another week or two for the next few Legend Saturdays, and they will go down tre like tremendously. It's not even a debate. Now, if you guys want any Mud Hero cards, like, these are crazy cheap. Now, what's my per what's my recommendation right now? Buy or sell. Definitely, I do not think this is a selling time, period. I do not want to be selling anything. I, I don't know, it's just, it might, things are probably going to get worse. But at this point, I feel like sometimes you lose so many coins that you don't even, it's not even worth selling. I warned you guys before most fear, get rid of some cards took my advice that's great but if you did not here we are i told you before mud heroes most feared and everything started rolling get rid of some cards because i told i literally said when everything came out all it's gonna come out fast like mud heroes most feared most feared everything's gonna be there and that's it there's gonna be no turning points to get rid of those other cards the legends crashed everything crashed just like we all knew it would so good thing i got rid of the cards i need to get rid of i built up my coin stack and now i can buy players i want now i also said don't invest all in mud heroes because i told you guys mud heroes will be relevant for literally a few days and then most feared would start and they crash and here we are all their values are gone so guys like jalen ramsey i got jalen ramsey for 195 yesterday i don't know what he's going for right now but the point being is that you can acquire them for that cheap just saying most feared promo two or three whatever the uh the rest of the extension of the promo will come be coming soon so definitely stay on top of that would i recommend you buy a few cards you want yeah, you, could, you could buy i think this is the time that you could buy i don't mean and don't take me in this way don't buy your whole team like if you wanted matt stafford for 150 like okay i could get that because that worst case scenario he goes down to what 45 i lose like 10k like worst case scenario it's really not that bad i picked up jalen ramsey for 195 worst case scenario he's down to what 220 now i, I make back my money I always love when the worst case scenario of selling a card is making back your money or losing like 10k. I'm always okay with that. It's when worst case scenario like for last time was when you bought Matt Stafford for 205 and I was like, okay, you might crash when everything comes out and now you lost 60k. That's not good. But if you're if you know those, they can't get much cheaper just off training values. It's almost impossible. Now coming to the 92, 93s, these are finally starting to become relevant to us. Um, at least in my opinion, they're getting a lot cheaper. Let's see. So 92, 93s, we got Tyler Lockett, which are the most feared guys. So like I just said, 239, he was just 245. They keep coming on down, or was he 254? I don't remember. Earl Thomas and Cam, these are crazy cheap. But I mean, the only ones I think are really worth the price. Mm, probably Tyler Lockett. I'm not a fan of the other two. And then Ray Lewis is 399. Awesome card, guys. I, I, I had a video yesterday going over his whole set and how, why you should do it. I'll be probably making a video today going over all the math and all the bats on it. So I can give you guys ways to get them for really cheap. 
just some little advice I had for you guys, but I'll go all over, over all that in the video most likely. And then as far as the other guys, pretty much beyond the most feared, I don't really look at anything further because obviously John Henderson and Nicoya are going to be crazy priced because of 92s. I've seen Vic and Luck for 400, 500k, so I really can't take them seriously at that price anymore. And the only guy I'd want here, I kind of want Alvin Kamara, but that is pretty much it. I don't really care for any of the other cards here because they're too expensive and they're not realistic. But guys, that is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notify bell, boys, to be notified every time I post a brand new video. And if you haven't already, hit that like button and comment down below 50k to be entered to win the giveaway that I will be announcing most likely tomorrow. I'll pull the commenters, so just make sure you're commenting down below. That's it, boys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.